hard out there? How do you how are you feeling? Uh, it's coming along. Um, just kind of going, you know, day to day, trying to, you know, test my body a little bit and, uh, you know, just be careful. But yeah, I felt pretty good today. How many days have you been on the ice since the injury? I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too sure. Maybe like three, four. Yeah. But was this the hardest? Day yeah. So today, far? today and yesterday, I pushed it quite quite a bit. Just again, just trying to push my body and get myself back up to speed and just. You know, that's the main thing. It's just like timing of shooting and all those things, just getting it back. When you hit the wall in that Calgary game, did you, when you like skated off ice, realize how serious the injury was and how long you might be out? Um, it was, I mean, I, I had really had no idea. I just mm -hmm. kind of was trying to get off to the training staff as, as quick as possible because something just felt off, yeah. How much do you want to play again this season, Travis? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, a goal. I mean, there there's no timeline um, I mean for me it's just making sure I'm healthy and have the confidence to you know get back out there get get in full contact again and it's it's a process so just you know at this point I'm just day to day trying to feel good yeah what would it mean to you if you are able to get back out there because you were going so well before the injury I mean as, as athletes like it's what everyone wants right you're competitive and and that's why we're, we're in the sport um, so obviously, you know, playing games is, is you know why we why we do this. But uh, again, for 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 me, it's more about just making sure I'm 100, percent and that's why I have no timeline. I'm just gonna go about it every day and, and make sure I feel better every single day, and, and just kind of go from there. Torts talked today about the fact that you know guys like you guys. NHL players, they want to come back. They want to come back as quickly as possible. How do you try to balance, you know, that desire to play versus, you know, making sure you're being cautious about not coming back too soon? Yeah, I mean, it's hard for, for athletes. Um, I think it's more the good balance between us and the trainers and the staff to kind of, like, bring you down to, like, you know, slow up, slow down. You know, you get, you get so excited about, you know, one day I haven't been – doing upper body workouts and then I do one and I'm like feeling like I'm on top of the world and ready to go so it's all about uh just listening to the to everybody's opinions and making sure we're all on the, the same page and and uh making sure we're you know working together to get to the same solution so Tort's also today talked about the fact that when he came in he felt like that trust between player and medical staff maybe wasn't there and that this year has been a process in terms of working to get it back. Do you feel like it's gotten better this year in terms of, you know, the trust that the players have with the medical staff and training staff? I mean, yeah, it's always, for me personally, like I, I've always been treated great. I've had, uh, you know, success coming back from injury many times previously and, and uh, just like this year I've been treated great. So. Um, you know, it's 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 been a good process. You just got to stick to it, and, and uh, you know, everyone's got to be on the same page, which we are. Like I said, players get excited to go, and the staff has to remind you that it's you got to make sure you're 100. percent So, is your schedule sort of on a day-to-day -day basis as well? Like, you'll talk to them tomorrow about how you feel today, and that will determine what you do tomorrow. Or yeah, again, it's kind of just uh, they kind of have their projections, and I kind of. Just go out there and uh, like today I, I did a little more shooting and a little bit more of a game load and, and then just yeah go from there and, and kind of work my way up and until I feel 100%. Travis kind of on a different topic uh, Danny Briere is now interim GM and he talked the other day honestly about like it could take some time here to get this on the right track how much do you want to be a part of it and pushing it forward? Yeah I mean this has uh, been my home now for seven seven seasons and um you know, been through a lot of good times and, and also down times. So when you go through that stuff as uh, a team and some of the guys that have been here, you know, it it uh, would mean that much more when you can get to the, the end goal and the, you know, winning. So, um, you know, it means a lot to be part of a process like that and just got to, you know, bunker down and, and go to work and just see what happens. You've worked with, uh, with Danny. Um, Pretty extensively, you know, you've been open about the fact that you worked with him in terms of trying to to get your goal scoring back on track. Is it exciting? Obviously, you know, I think you had a good relationship with Chuck too. But is it exciting to see him get this opportunity? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's talking to Danny is just uh, he's just got a different look on everything, and and it's an interesting one because it's like a lot of guys don't see the ice like he saw the ice, and then on top of that, uh, having him, you know, in charge of things and and 
you know, looking up to Danny as the interim GM right now, it's just like, it's just pretty cool wondering what he's got in store for uh, his thought process moving forward. And um, I mean, I don't know what that is, but I'm just saying from talking to him about other things, you know, just it's interesting and, and uh, makes you wonder what he's going to be up to.